episode we continue sailing through Croatia's natural wonderland in the Kornati Islands and the World Heritage Krika waterfalls. We are just leaving Luka to get to the and heading for the Kornati group. Okay, go for it. of Levnaka, one of the most northern mooring spots in the Konati group, uh, while El and Aiden have gone and taken the tender for a spin. As you can see, Aiden's uh, fallen in love with the tender. So how it works around here is that we've got this nice little spot but this marina is owned by the restaurant. So this guy's come around and asked us for what we want for dinner. It's uh, probably a decent deal. So I can tell you what we have. Only you need to tell me what you want. Uh, fish or meat? Oh, oh, fish yeah. should be good. Okay. Fish. fish. So we're going to see is a mid marine action where the boat backs in to the wharf and then they grab lines from the dock and bring them forward and tie themselves off in the front while then they also throw lines in the back uh, so they settle themselves into a dock. The benefit of that is that you can fit a lot of yachts right next to each other. You see the, so the lines are brought back and tied off. grabs that line, that's the one that's going to bring him forward, he's going to tie off at the front. He's got a lot of wind off his port side, so that's why he's using a bow thruster. Oh, but he's going to touch the back. Oh no, there it is, he just managed to stay off. As you can see, he can get pretty hairy. And the mistake that the motor cruiser did was that he didn't have fenders on his port side, so he wasn't ready for someone coming in. More, more, more. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Oh, no. Did you like? No, no, I like anchovies. Do you like anchovies? Oh, sorry, I thought you already. Um... <laughs> it's really bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tomato? Very Mediterranean. Mm. Mm. <laughs> On a beautiful island. Oh, look at this view. Whoa. I saw an even better view when I went up by myself. In! Last time I did it, 
just in. Yep. So that's fish bait for yes. the fish for, for the fish for tonight's dinner. Yes. Which I must admit was spectacular. Especially the fish, sea bream that we had last night. Turns out that one of the few beaches in the Konati group is actually around the back of this bay. Going to go for an early morning stroll and maybe go for a swim. Wind's pretty steady, about eight knots. We're doing four and a half knots down the passage, so I'm just taking it easy. Put the instruments onto automatic and just chilling out. Ed is going through a distance, Ed. Today's maths. Not nearly done. The wind has hopefully shifted for us still. And I'm also pointing more downwind because it's bigger wind. This is the southern point of Otto Kornat the largest island in the Kornati group. How's it GNT? Paddling in, yeah. Paddling a canoe. Canadian style. Or French style, take a pick. <laughs> Working it's together. Nice form, people. Me. Me. <laughs> Me, more stuff. Is it? Mm, very nice. Well, it's I'll hot. just have a taste. Mm. Yeah. It's That's deliciosos in Spanish. Deliciosos. Risotto. That's your fuel. Nice Instead of using petrol, we're using risotto and veggie fuel.
beautiful. It's up here. It's all happening here. So why are we having this higher caliber alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> because we it thought that we would uh, sample the Prosecco product of Italy. It was at the supermarket and we thought that it looked good, but we'll soon see. And I think the real reason is because we don't have a corkscrew on board, so it's then the oh, alcohol yeah. can open up. And that too. <laughs> Ready? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm purple. Oh. Yeah, you did it up. <laughs> Yay. Didn't go into the water. No. Unlike when Mum did it when we were crisping and the tracks yellow. <laughs> that would be naughty, wouldn't it? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to another beautiful spot. Another good yeah. day. Our great, last day in the Cornati group. Yes. It's not bad. It's very early morning and it looks like the local guys are already heading out to go fishing. It's the same one that the guys on the boat next to us caught last night. We really need some fishing gear, don't we? So I was going for an early morning swim. The water right now is around 20 degrees. So Nape's inspired me, so I'm going to go for a swim as well. How's it? Lovely. <laughs> Refreshing. Yeah. Early morning start. We're back off the mainland to do Shibinik. Frederick Green's forecast from yesterday was pretty accurate. This is a glassy, absolutely no wind, so we're just going to gently motor over to Shibinik. It was glassy. It means that look, it's Flat. like glass out there. I One thing you really got to watch out for when sailing in these waters is the fishermen's boys usually get two boys next to each other and between them you get the fishing net. Privich. Very cute. We're about to enter the canal Santa Ante Sitsenitsa, which takes us up to the bay which uh, Sibenik lies on. Nice catch flying the American flag. We're almost as far away from home as we are. And there is Sibenik. What I love about sailing, you come in and you moor in the old part of town, about the best spot in the whole of this waterfront. Shibinik is in Dalmatia and it's again like Pula or Zada, a very old town. Uh, they found Illyrian ruins here, they've also found Roman and Greek ruins here. Fortunately the town was hit quite hard uh, in the Balkan War but they've done a fantastic job of getting it all fixed up. Yeah. That bridge is 30 metres high, so we're right. So that was a brief stop in Shibinik. Uh, just wanted to have a look around, get a few things sorted out. We're heading up the river uh, to a place called Straden, where the amazing waterfalls, the Krika, are, where we'll be going to tomorrow. Yeah. 
First bridge we're going under. Now that's 30 metres, our mast is 22 metres. Today is our first sailing under a bridge with Tranquilo and first sailing under high tension wires that actually were slightly lower than the bridge and first day through a narrow area up ahead. How awesome is this? <laughs> so after quite a beautiful trip up the gorge we've arrived in Straden where we can only go so far before we have to catch a taxi up to Krika Waterfalls, it's a water taxi. Sounds like a cat. I tell you what, they are like cats, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The minute you don't feed them, they just lost interest. So cute. Yeah, the gin tonic, Mr. Swan. You want some food? All right. I don't know what you eat, but um, if you give me that feather, <laughs> I'll give you something to eat. <laughs> They just talk to each other to say, nah. You ain't going to get anything here. Nah, it's a lost cause over here, let's move on. Get oh, that's, that's mine, this is the gin. Yeah. I actually really like gin tea. Mm. Oh. The gin tonics. Beautiful. Well, the soda and lemon's good too. Cheers. Cheers! Good sail. Mm. It'll be another great day. I see our friends have returned with their young family. <laughs> Krika Waterfalls. Tranquilo, you've seen our little water generator. 
the Watton Sea. This is a big water turbine. Uh, it was the heart of the Cricker hydroelectric plant. So this plant was the second in the world. It opened two days after the Niagara Falls one. Uh, and yeah, and so 1895 to First World War. The blacksmith's workshop. Luke's fascinating. This is how a blacksmith would make tools out of iron. Okay. Me to feel like I'm in the Hobbit. We're in the watermill. Cricket Falls is just spectacular. It's just got so much energy. This place and with bits of lakes were both amazing. This one's just a bit more relaxed. Not as many people here, you don't have to queue to see a waterfall. So it's a bit more in keeping with Tranquilo. Yeah. I think those things, those things are really scary. So Kalina told us about a story about she going body surfing and then she couldn't get up and she nearly drowned. So I like the other place better. To a bit Join us in our next adventures sailing the coast and islands of northern Dalmatia. If you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to follow our adventures.